Today we will take a look at UBIOS aflatoxin B1 rapid test kits. These kits are designed to provide an accurate estimation of aflatoxin B1 in food and feed samples in just 5 minutes which makes them ideal for screening and field use. The test comes at different cutoff limits corresponding to regulatory limits for various foods in various countries. We can see two thin test packs here, one for 5 ppb cutoff limit and the other for 20 ppb cutoff. The kits are packed separately for field and lab use with a field kit containing additional consumables and pre-measured reagents in the packing. There are drying cups which are used to hold the extract and provides the ideal surface area to allow it to dry quickly. These are not supplied with lab use kits as glass beakers in labs can be used for the same purpose. The field use kit also contains graduated droppers for transferring, mixing and dissolving the extract. Pipettes are usually available in labs, so these are not supplied with lab use kits. The package also has an instruction leaflet. This leaflet describes the test procedure in detail. The instructions may vary slightly based on the sample to be tested, so you have to always follow the leaflet that comes with the test. A diluent is supplied along with the kit to dissolve the extract. With a lab use kit, this is supplied in a single bottle and with a field use kit, it is pre-measured and packed in individual single use vials that we see here. The test card along with a small dropper is packed in a moisture proof aluminium pouch. The membrane in the test card is sensitive to moisture so this pouch should be opened only at the time of testing. The kits have a typical shelf life of 12 to 18 months when stored at room temperature. The first step as we start the test is to weigh out 2 grams of the sample to be tested. Today we are using the test for chili and chili powder so we will weigh out 2 grams of chili powder on our lab balance. UBIO also supplies handheld mini grinders and mini weight scales for people who want to do this in the field. As you can see the chili powder is being added slowly till we get 2 grams of the sample. Yeah, we have it. A typical field use kit contains a centrifuge tube containing pre-measured quantities of, extract of the extraction buffer. The tubes are also supplied with the lab use kit, but the extraction buffer has to be prepared in the lab. Once the sample is weighed out, it is added to the extraction buffer slowly, taking care not to spill it. We are done now. So now the tube is closed tight and we are ready to extract the toxin from the sample. Now we prepare to proceed with the test so we keep the test card and accessories ready. The centrifuge tube that contains chili powder and the extraction buffer is shaken vigorously for around 5 minutes till the chili powder is mixed well with the buffer. After mixing, the sample is kept alone for 3 to 5 minutes for settling. If you have a centrifuge available, you can save yourself the trouble by centrifuging the tube at around 3000 rpm for a few minutes. It is now 5 minutes after we finished mixing and you can see that the chili powder has settled well, leaving a red supernatant liquid at the top. This extract will now contain most of the aflatoxin from the sample. Open the centrifuge tube and using the graduated dropper or a pipette, transfer 2 ml of the extract to the drying cup or a glass beaker. Close and keep the centrifuge tube away and allow the extract to dry. You can keep the cup in a breeze, under sunlight or even in front of a table fan to make the extract dry faster. After 5 minutes in front of a table fan, 
the extract is dry. Now take a red cap vial of assay diluent and add the contents to the dried extract. In the case of a lab use kit, a specified quantity of diluent has to be measured and added from the diluent bottle. Now use a dropper to mix and dissolve the extract in the diluent. It usually takes 2 to 3 minutes. You can use the same procedure that is shown here to do the mixing and dissolve. Once the extract is dissolved, take the test card and the smaller dropper out of the aluminium pouch. Using this dropper, add 5 drops of dissolved extract to the sample hole on the test card. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now wait a few seconds and you can see the liquid flow across the test pad on the card. Take care not to disturb the card during this period. Here is the flow as you can see. You can see the liquid flowing across the test pad now. You can also see a line forming in the control zone marked C. It's called a control line and it, show, it indicates that the test card is working. Keep the test like this for 5 minutes as the color reaction happens. Five minutes have gone, gone by and we are now ready to read the result. As you can see there is only a control line marked C and no test line and this indicates the presence of aflatoxin above the specified cutoff. We used a 5 ppb kit. So this means that the aflatoxin level in the chili powder we tested is greater than 5 ppb. If the result was negative, we would have got at least a vague line in the test zone marked T. Here we can see a couple of negative test results marked 1 and 2 with vague lines in the test zone. The card marked 3 is the card that we tested just now and that is a positive result. No line, vague line and vague line. Positive, negative and negative. I hope you had a good introduction to UBIO's Aflatoxin B1 Rapid Test Kit. Thank you very much and I hope you are able to put the kit to good use.